Israel with two can have a party. Now, we're talking burst, burst, we're talking best <laughs> and worst birthday presents. <laughs> what was good, what was bad? I don't know what's happening right now. Paul stood up and is ta- untangling a wire from around himself. I think something's gone awry. Well, you've got to untangle wires. If they're tangled, that's just the nature of wires. I know, I know. It's very weird, Paul. Um, what was your best and worst birthday? Wait a minute, what is weird about untangling a tangled wire? <laughs> I don't know, I just said it because I couldn't think of what else to say. You've made me really nervous now that I know I said celebrate twice and I'm overthinking my sentence structure. Paul, best birthday gift, worst birthday um, gifts. I don't know. The worst was when um, my brother one year gave me an iPhone. Mm-hmm. But when I opened it up, it was a prank and it didn't have an oh, iPhone in it. Oh, that's mean. But the mean bit of it was there was no iPhone to then cover the, the dirty prank. It was just a, ha there's not one in there. So you didn't get like a nice iPhone after no, so other then, phones are available? Other Then people felt so guilty that I had, they then got an iPhone purchased for me because they felt so guilty about... How long after the prank? Like, a day. Well, that's fine. You still got an iPhone. Yeah, but it was like, it was tinged with guilt. I think my worst birthday present was the year my mum said I was too old for my Polly Pockets and gave them all away. <gasps> that's bad. Yeah, I know, but I've told you what I did to them. No. She gave my cousins all of my Polly Pockets and I had... I mean... Albeit I was 16 and too old for Polly Pockets. <laughs> right, OK. You're maybe che- maybe you should front up with some of this information before I start feeling sorry for you, actually. So I had the best Polly Pocket collection in the world. I had them all, every single one. And my mum said, your cousins, Natalie and Victoria, are getting them. You're too old for a Polly Pocket. So I took every little doll and accessory out of the Polly Pockets mm-hmm. and put them in the secret drawer where I keep my teeth. And <laughs> the story's getting worse and worse. <laughs> so, so then my cousin's got this bag of Polly Pockets with no dolls and no You're accessories. You're listening to the Ashley Story Show. <laughs> Hidden teeth in Polly Pockets. Yes. Other miniature figurine collections are available. I'm going to say they're not. <laughs> but yeah, that was it. I gave I gave them empty Polly Pockets, and my mum gave me an eye. An it would have been eye, more horrific if you would swapped out. The Polly Pocket figurines for teeth. That would it? And given would that have been bad if I'd put maybe like one tooth inside it so yeah. it rattled? Oh, then I never did that. <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely didn't put a single tooth. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> People have been getting in touch to tell us. <laughs> So that's a bad thing, their worst gift. Just move on. Dolly says, my worst birthday present, three to 12 year old. My sister's got hair dryers and my, my sister's got hair dryers. <laughs> That's his, and my birth, my best birthday presents were books. Hated them at the time, but gave me a love that will never diminish. I like that. Maybe our sister's got hair dryers on her birthday and she got nothing. That's rubbish. That's absolutely... But bear in mind, when I put my tooth in that, it was my birthday and things were getting taken away from me rather than given to me. So I wasn't completely the bad guy in that situation. Um, Jennifer says, the worst is a toss-up between a ceramic storage house (laughs) the size of a large bread bin or the Barbie gym my dad got me for my first birthday after my parents split up because it was exactly the same thing I'd been given for Christmas. Oh no, no that is bad. Get in touch via text 80295. Let us know your worst birthday gift, your best birthday gift. Also let us know the song that was number one when you were born. Our next song was number one when our very own Paul was born. Is that right? That's correct. Are you glad it's this song, Paul? Yeah, I mean it could have been a lot worse. Although I think if you look back on the year I was born, I think there's a lot of good hits out there, so... I was, I was, you could throw a dart that year and I'm sure you would have hit a good number one. So you were born in a musically rich year? I think so. Well, I think we should put on our boogie shoes and let's dance. Here's David Bibby. 